The movie begins with a news anchor summarizing an alien invasion of Earth. In 2015, aliens called Mimics, arrived in Germany through an asteroid and swiftly conquered most of continental Europe. By 2020, the United Defense Force, a global military alliance with new exoskeleton suit to combat the alien threat, finally won a major battle in Verdun. After that battle, Sergeant Rita Vertosky, a special forces soldier, is hailed as a hero after killing hundreds of the mimics. Major William Bill Cage, a public relations officer, awakens on a helicopter journey to London to meet with General Brigham, the Western Allied commander. He assumes Brigham wants him to assist him in improving his public image. Brigham, on the other hand, tells him to provide ground cover for the media while they attempt to join their forces in France. But he declines, claiming that he lacks battle experience. Nonetheless, Brigham reminds him that he must obey the order because it came from higher up. He then threatens to hold Brigham accountable if the invasion fails. Brigham appears to relent at first, but then he orders Cage's arrest. In the afternoon, Cage wakes up on a pile of duffel bags at Heathrow Airport, which has been turned into a military base. Master Sergeant Farrell then greets him, and he tries to explain his rank and demands to make a phone call, but Farrell takes out the paperwork claiming that he is a deserter. It turns out Brigham has sent orders to Farrell to demote Cage from officer to private and falsely labeled him a deserter. Cage has been assigned to a group of eccentric soldiers known as the J Squad, consisting of Ford, Griff, Kimmel, Skinner, and Nance, all of whom dislike and belittle him. When Farrell takes him to the squad to introduce him, he finds their gambling activities, forcing the team to eat the cards they are playing with. To everyone's disappointment, he informs them that Cage is a deserter who will flee and holds the squad personally responsible for his actions. Then he orders them to prepare Cage for the next day's operation, which is the invasion. He puts on the suit but has no idea how to operate it. Then, he sees the behaviors of his teammates, which doesn't comfort him. He tries to weasel out of it and says he may hurt someone with his inexperience, but his teammates tell him he won't if he has the safety on. However, the squad members don't even teach him to take his gun out of safety mode because they believe he will die quickly. When they are in the aircraft, they pick on Cage, making him more nervous. However, just as they are about to drop off the plane onto the French coast, the back of their airship explodes, and the squad drops down prematurely. As the final passenger left in the plane, he presses the release button just as the plane explodes. He landed on the shore and observed the mayhem. He then tries to activate his weaponry, but the language appears locked in Japanese. Later, he sees another plane approaching him and ducks just in time. When he looks up, he finds Rita using a sword to combat the mimics. Despite being thrown back, she manages to kill the attacker. She approaches him but is suddenly shot and dies right before him. Cage, terrified, begins running in the opposite direction, but Farrell stops him. Their crew reassembles, and it appears that their adversary anticipated their arrival. They fortify themselves in the ditch and wait for the enemy to arrive. Cage continues attempting to remove his safety, but with little success. When he looks down at the ground, he notices movement. The mimics, it turns out, have already arrived at their destination. Finally, he gets his guns to fire and shoots at the mimic, who killed his entire squad, but another appears. Cage, still in shock and on the way to passing away, reaches for a claymore mine as massive blue mimic lunges at him. The explosion caused by the mine kills the blue mimic instantly. However, some of the blood splashes upon him and burns his face. Later, he screams in agony and wakes up in a panic on top of the duffel bags where he was earlier. He then sees a bus and recognizes the woman painted on the bus as the same person he saw on the battlefield. Farrell is there, calling him Maggot, and takes him back to J Squad. He gets to the battlefield and meets Rita again, but he saves her from being killed this time. However, he ends up wounded by the gunfire, and instead of keeping him, Rita takes his battery, and he gets killed by the mimic. Later, he wakes up again, but this time, he desperately attempts to explain what is happening and that the mimics will ambush everyone. When Farrell takes him to the squad again, he tries to convince them, leading them to think he is crazy and tape his mouth. He is deployed and dies each time, only to wake up again on the duffel bags. With each loop, he becomes slightly more adept at trying to save the members of the squad and Rita. In one loop, he survives long enough to save Rita from the ship that will explode and kill the incoming mimics. Realizing that he can predict the future, Rita drops her sword and tells Cage to find her when he wakes up before they both die again. Cage wakes up on the duffel bag again but begins to cooperate with Farrell and help the squad buy himself time to find Rita. After several disastrous attempts at slipping away, Cage finally manages to escape and find Rita in a training hangar, surrounded by training drones. Rita starts coldly, but when he explains everything to her, she takes him to a weapon building bay, where her acquaintance named Carter, a physicist, 
and biologist specializing in mimic biology, works. She explains to Cage that what is happening to him also happened to her, but she lost her powers. She says he gained the power to reset time from an alpha, the blue mimic, that Cage killed by absorbing its blood. When they get there, he meets Dr. Carter. He explains that all mimics are just neural manifestations of one overmind Omega alien. The Omega gives Alpha the power to reset the time every time one of them dies. Therefore, it always knows the future and can never lose a war. When the Omega feels like it is losing its power, it will try to find the human responsible for it, leading to that person having visions about the location of the Omega. Rita says that she once experienced it. Unfortunately, she had never made it there since she lost her blood. Cage tries to process all of this, but Rita states that for them to find the Omega, they must first survive the invasion tomorrow. She then proceeds to train Cage, killing him a few times when he is injured so that he wakes up on the duffel bags and starts all over again. In one loop, Cage is badly injured, Rita tells him to make sure he dies entirely instead of being accidentally revived because once the looper receives a human blood transfusion, the loop is broken, and this is what happened to Rita herself. Eventually, Cage receives a mental vision after he dies. He then sees that the Omega is somewhere in a dam in Germany. Rita and Carter believe that the visions are due to Cage being an Alpha after being infected with blue blood. Therefore, Cage and Rita focus on surviving the invasion. They become much improved in combat on the beach, but despite everything, they both keep dying, and Cage loops over and over. Later, he becomes attracted to Rita, and watching her die repeatedly takes its emotional toll on him. In the next loop, he gives up, decides to escape from the base, and goes to the bar in London by himself, where he thinks he can escape the loop, but it doesn't work. He discovers that the mimics eventually take over London after losing on the beach. Cage then goes back to training, and after several failures and deaths, Cage and Rita finally make it inland. Rita finds a van but needs to remember to detach its trailer. She drives to Cage, and they both run up in the vehicle away from the incoming mimics. When they think they are safe, a mimic pops out inside the trailer. Cage manages to dispatch it, losing some dead weight. Then, he talks about Rita and her personal life, which surprises her. When they ran out of gas, they arrived at a farm's house and found a helicopter. Rita wants Cage to fly it, but he is afraid of crashing. Rita grunts as she unties the helicopter, causing Cage to discover a large wound she has been hiding. Rita realizes that Cage is trying to persuade her to stay in the farmhouse and confronts him. Cage admits they have looped to the farmhouse several times, but Rita dies every time. So he tries to save her from another death by going alone. When Rita asks him why it matters what happens to her, Cage is speechless. However, Rita is now well aware that he is attracted to her. He grows closer to her, but it seems like she is only interested in the mission. Rita grabs the key and starts the helicopter, which triggers an attack and ultimately causes her to crash. He comes to find her, only to witness her die in his arms. Soon after, the neighboring mimics surround them and kill him. In the following loop, Cage wakes up and finds Rita but changes his mind about involving her and instead makes his way alone to the German dam. He then packs extra ammo and battery and goes to the farmhouse himself. He flies the helicopter and arrives at the dam. However, going to the barrier does not work as he had expected. He finds nothing, as the Omega is not there, and he is ambushed by an Alpha, who attempts to stop him of his ability to reset time, but Cage deliberately drowns himself. Cage, Rita, and Carter put the pieces together in the next loop. They do so to try and figure out what the visions are all about. They realize that the victory at Verdun was a ruse set up by the Omega Overmind to lure the humans into invading Europe, where all the human armies would be ambushed and annihilated. With no other clues, the device Carter made, which relays the signal, following his theory, which even got him fired, is their last chance. Unfortunately, Carter says the device still needs to be fully ready, missing some equipment. The good thing is that now they know exactly what to do. Rita and Cage switch focus on obtaining the equipment in Brigham's possession. After going through a lot, having faced several failed attempts, Cage and Rita finally infiltrated the Ministry of Defense. Cage demonstrates that he knows the future and explains how they always lose the battle on the beach. He says they must use the device in the safe to take out the Omega, but Brigham disagrees. Later, after convincing him, Brigham later takes out the transponder and surprisingly gives it to Cage. As they walk out of the building, soldiers begin attacking them. They try to escape in a car, and Cage takes the opportunity to stab the transponder into his leg. He then learns the Omega's actual location, under the Louvre Pyramid in Paris. As they attempt to escape from the Allied headquarters, their getaway car crashes, and the airbag knocks out Rita before she can kill Cage. Later, Cage wakes up in a hospital. He realizes that he is now out of the loop. 
Since he has been given a blood transfusion, he has lost the ability to loop time forever. Rita tries to kill Cage to reset the time, but he tells her he no longer has that ability. Not long after, they sneak out of the hospital, return to the base, and find the squad. He convinces them to help destroy the Omega before the invasion begins, this time in the presence of Rita. They steal a military aircraft and head toward Paris. Before they get to the building, the Mimics attack their airship, and half of the squad is killed in the ensuing firefight. Cage, Rita, and the three remaining squad members use the remaining engine power to slide the airship into the museum. The rest of the squad sacrifices themselves to buy time for Cage and Rita so that they can make it into the museum. Once they finally get inside, Rita tells Cage that she will distract the patrolling Alpha Mimic. At the same time, he will go and detonate a grenade belt on the Omega, which is submerged underwater at the bottom of the Louvre. Cage disagrees, but she says it is what she must do to end the war. She says that she could have met him in better circumstances. Before luring away an Alpha, standing between them and the submerged Omega, Rita kisses Cage to thank him for getting her as far as he did. After a brief chase, the Alpha captures and kills Rita, while Cage dives and swims towards the Omega as the Alpha chases him close behind and stabs him. But Cage keeps it together, pulls out all the grenade pins, and drops the belt into the Omega. The Omega explodes and dies, with it, all the mimics die. As Cage dies, the Omega's blood fuses into him, turning his eyes black. Later, he wakes up in shock and finds himself on the helicopter ride to London from the morning before the invasion. He watches the news, where the general announces that the mimics are all dead after a mysterious explosion in Paris. The human forces will begin sweeping through Europe the next day. Then, he goes to the base, and all members of the J squad are alive and well. Cage goes to find Rita, and when he finds her, she does not recognize him and greets him with the same coldness as she did each time they first met in the loop. The movie ends as she asks him what he wants, and Cage says nothing as he is overwhelmed with happiness. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.